In this video, we see Paul Morphy's very amazing game. This is second best game. In this game, Paul Morphy play with two players. So Paul Morphy play with white pieces and the Duke of Brunswick and the Count Isolde play with black pieces. So this game was played in 1858 in Paris. So Paul Morphy starts with e4, e5, knight f3, d6, filider defense, d4, bishop g4, d takes e4. If black take this pawn, then Paul Morphy could exchange his queen. But black continue with bishop takes knight and exchange his bishop. Queen takes bishop, d takes e5. Bishop c4, knight f6. So here, Paul Morphy move his queen on b3 and leave this pawn. But black can't take this pawn because bishop takes f7 comes and then king move anyway. Checkmate comes in one move. And if king e7, then also queen d6 is mate. So threat is bishop takes f7. So black continue with queen e7 and create support on f7. Here Paul Morphy could take this b7 pawn and then Paul Morphy could take this rook. But Paul Morphy didn't take this pawn and continue with knight c3. c6 create support on b7. Bishop g5 pin this knight. b5 so Paul Murphy take this pawn, knight takes b5 and sacrifice his knight. So black accept the knight. c takes knight, bishop takes b5 check, knight d7 and Paul Murphy castles queen side and pressure on knight. So black continue with rook d8 and supports this knight. So now you can see that black's minor pieces are stuck. So Paul Morphy continue his attack. Rook takes knight and now this knight is pin. And bishop supports this rook. So black can't take this rook with his queen. So black take this rook with his rook. Rook takes rook. Rook d1. And the last piece join into party. Party of attack, queen e6, offer for queen exchanges. So Paul Morphy continue with bishop takes rook check and also for con queen. So black take this bishop, knight takes bishop, queen b8 check, king has no options. So black has to take this queen and final move of Paul Morphy, rook d8 and checkmate if you like the game then please subscribe the channel for watch more games